Hey, welcome everybody. Mr. On Demand, man with the master plan. And my master plan today is to take you completely through upgrading your old Windows 10 computer that doesn't support Windows 11 and upgrade it to Windows 11, keeping all of your software and everything that you have in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started doing that right now. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick overview of what you need to do in order to make the USB drive that you need in order to do the Windows 11 upgrade. Let's go ahead and go to Windows site, Microsoft site, and download the ISO image. The link for this page is going to be in the description of this video, so go down below and get that link if you need to download it. Windows 11 ISO, you're going to make sure you select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO and download now. The ISO image will download. Once you've got the ISO image downloaded, you're going to also need to download Rufus. I assume that you're going to want the top one because you're upgrading Windows 10 to 11. So you're going to need this Windows X64 version right here. Once you've got Rufus downloaded, go ahead and have that installed. Once you've got that installed, you'll be able to open Rufus up just like this and input your USB drive into your computer and it will show the USB drive up here. And then you're going to select the ISO image, which should be in your downloads folder. Normally that's where your downloads end up going. And you're going to select the Windows 11 24H2 ISO image that downloaded. And once you select that ISO image, you're going to be able to hit the start button and it will go ahead and go through and create the ISO image. We'll hit start. And you're going to have all these checkmark boxes. You want all of them checkmarked. And you'll want to enter in a name here. Whatever name you want is up to you. This is going to create the local user account uh, for your uses. So you can put owner or whatever you like. So that may not uh, work if you've already got a Microsoft account on your Windows 10 machine. It may still bring the Microsoft account over. Uh, but that's just something that I like to do uh, because I do use this drive for more than just upgrades. If you have a problem with the Rufus not creating the flash drive or it fails, then just make sure you turn off your virus protection, open up your virus and threat protection like this go to manage settings and make sure you turn your real-time protection to off so that you can actually make the flash drive so go ahead and get that usb drive plug it into the usb port preferably on the back of the computer that's where it gets the most power and you know performs the best now you're going to go ahead and go into windows and you're going to open up the file explorer you're going to find the usb drive and you're going to open it up. Now look for the setup file and double click on the setup file. That's going to allow you to install Windows 11 over Windows 10 and you're going to keep all of your files. During this install process um, you'll get a few questions and just do it the way I'm showing in the video. This is a customer's machine and he's paying me to upgrade his computer to Windows 11 couple of questions I get asked all the time is, will it do updates? Well, you're going to see at the end of this video, yes, we're going to do all the updates. So I'm going to show you that as well. Um, also, all of the drivers were set up absolutely fine without any problem. I didn't have to update or reinstall any drivers during this process. And this customer is going to be very happy with the upgrade uh, where he doesn't have to actually buy a new computer. And you're going to get that pesky message that says your computer doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11. That doesn't matter at all. Just continue on with the install and, you know, go ahead and get Windows installed onto your computer. This is going to take quite some time. Um, after you get past this particular point, it's going to restart and restart and just install and install. It's going to do that a lot. There's going to be points where you think the computer isn't, something's wrong, right? It, it's not doing anything. Well, it is. Just leave it alone and let it do its thing. Depending on the speed of your computer, it actually may take quite a bit of time. This is running a solid state hard drive. This particular computer is an i7. And so it's not a super slow computer. Some of you may have much older, slower machines and it may take much, much longer. As you can see, I'm showing some of what you'll see, uh, you know, in kind of like skipping through a lot. Uh, so you don't have to, we don't have to spend all that time watching this video of the computer just sitting there installing Windows. We're getting to the end of the install now getting things ready for you. 
So this gives you kind of an idea of everything you're going to see during the install. It might take a few minutes. And we'll go ahead and get into the next uh, script there. Yeah, please keep your PC on and plugged in. So it's continuing on the install, um, as we can see. And we're almost there. There we go. Now we're into Windows. And what we're going to do is once we're in there, um, I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure that it says it's Windows 11. Make sure things say they're activated. I don't see a watermark. Uh, on the background picture, so I'm pretty sure everything's activated fine. I didn't have to put a key in and I didn't have to activate this Windows. Windows 10 was already activated. This machine just went through the upgrade just fine. Microsoft wants you migrating to Windows 11, so make you know be aware of that. Now we're going to do Windows updates. It's going to go through and I'm going to show you that this is doing all the Windows updates. I'm going to check for updates. And it's going to go ahead and do its thing. And we're going to get some update action, download updates, install updates. You're going to do this for quite a bit, a little bit of time too, as well. After Windows is installed, you're going to want to go to the Windows update and just do all the updates uh, that are available. And this definitely goes ahead and gets all the updates installed absolutely beautifully. No problems at all. Uh, so anybody that was worrying about the updates... I'm telling you, this works fine. Done it tons of times. 7% there. Boom. 15%. 16%. And we're moving along, moving along, moving along. This gives you an idea. It has to go through quite a bit of this uh, to go ahead and get all the updates installed. So this gives you kind of an idea on what you're going to be looking at uh, during the entire update process while this just goes through a massive amount of installing so I wanted to give you a really good feel for the time it takes to update uh, these updates and during this time I'd like to tell you to please like and subscribe this to this video if this video is helping you out uh, definitely uh, leave me a comment down below what you think of this video and whether or not it's you know been helpful to you let's go ahead and move on to the next step here Almost done, 97%. And then we'll move into the 100%. And we will be done shortly. So at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and open up the, uh, go ahead and open up the computer and check and make sure that the updates did complete uh, totally. And we're, log we're launching into Windows again. And here we go into the next step. And then check Windows updates and see see what we got here. Let's see if it says everything completed. What do you guys think? You think it did? I think so. I think everything's complete just fine. This isn't my first rodeo here. Uh, we've got updates all complete. Look at that. All up to date. Now let's go ahead and check out the uh, drivers. You go to your control panel for that and device manager. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check that out and see uh, if the drivers have any yellow exc exclamation points or question marks in here. And we, it looks like we're doing just fine with the drivers. So everything looks good there. I think it's ready to shut this computer down and uh, call it a day. I think we had a very good upgrade. The upgrade's successful. You guys should all feel good about yourselves. Hopefully you get your computer upgraded. Have a good day.